All right, welcome to the Robert Show. We are here at Visa Product Drop event, uh, and uh, super excited to be here with Robel, uh, who's from Visa. Uh, first of all, congratulations on all the great announcements that y'all have made today. Uh, it was such a pleasure to see uh, it firsthand uh, in person event, obviously. So thanks for inviting us, and uh, I'm here to obviously learn more about the different things that you're doing. Robel, just for audience, would you like to quickly introduce yourself? Tell us more about what you do at Visa. Yeah. By the way, thank you. Thank you for coming. I sure. It's it's wonderful to have you guys here. Uh, my name is Robel Berwatkar. I am a long-term Visa employee. I've been with the company for about 14 years, and I'm currently responsible for many of our growth functions, including all the work that we're doing across agentic commerce, stable coins, and our strategic partnerships. Okay, Rupal, I'm uh, also excited uh, to learn more about the product uh, announcements that y'all have made. Uh, can you all tell? Uh, can you tell me a little more about it uh, and also our audience? Uh, sure. Um, so, just to briefly summarize what we covered today at the Visa Product Drop, there were about five different areas we touched upon. We talked. Right. The main course was, you know, new agentic commerce, what we're calling the Visa Intelligent Commerce program that we announced with a bunch of partners including OpenAI, Perplexity, Anthropic, Mistral, yep. and Microsoft. In addition to that, we also touched a little bit about the work that we're doing with our Flex Credential, which is now expanding for new use cases around the world, along with partners like Klarna. We also talked a little bit about the work that we're doing on stable coins across on-ramp, off-ramp settlement use cases. Yep. And then we introduced two new products called Visa Pay and Visa Accept which yep. allows us to make more interoperability between closed loop wallets around the world with the visa acceptance footprint. That's fantastic. Uh, those were great announcements. We're going to get more de uh, into the detail of these announcements. Uh, and great partners for sure. Uh, we've been seeing all the great work that they've been doing in the AI space. And uh, now Visa is partnering and uh, you're building the future of agents, AI, and uh, making it much more powerful for the larger audience out there. Um, Quick one, I also heard from, obviously, uh, Ryan, the CEO of Visa. He said, without payment, uh, this is not commerce uh, when you are using agents. What do you think about it? Um, look, I mean, it's in some ways, it's actually irrelevant what I think. Yeah. But a lot of research that we do with consumers around the world, the one thing that is consistent is a trend where you know you have over a billion users around the world that are now starting their discovery journey on AI or AI led platforms. Yep. So that's a clear data point where we do know that some of those discovery journeys are going to ultimately convert into commerce experiences. So we as a company that prides itself to make magical payment experiences happen, like yep. for example, right, you could fly to over 200 countries around the world, you could use your Visa card in your wallet, I hope you have one. Yeah. <laughs> and it'll work exactly the same way. And nice. that's not just true, like how does it work in a different physical location, but it's also true how does it work online, how does it work in a mobile environment, how does it work in an app environment, and ultimately how would it work in an agentic AI-driven environment. And yeah. that is what we're really, really focused on to ensure that we can provide the same seamless, frictionless, trust-oriented magic that consumers are used to with by using the Visa brand to make a payment and we can bring that to AI platforms. That's awesome. Uh, and thanks for sharing those details. Uh, fantastic insights, Obel. Also, I'm kind of curious to know because you've been using, obviously, great partners to you know um, package this for the consumers out there. Uh, how do you manage personalization? Because that is another very important piece uh, when you, we are using AI tools. Uh, can you tell us a little about that uh, when you're using, obviously, these tools? How does that, uh, the personalization kind of plays a, a role? And um, also, how do you manage the privacy of data? Yeah, I think that's an excellent question. And look, I think we're very, very lucky having the scale that we have. Like I just mentioned, right? We do right. like, you know, trillions of dollars in payment volume, four exactly. billion plus credentials. And for us, personal, think about personalization in a way as signals. We think about, we know certain patterns that you as a user that uses on your Visa card. Right. But we're also very, very concerned and almost front and center for us is data privacy. Yep. We want to make sure that a consumer has full, absolute control and their raw data is actually never sort of like leaves the premises that Visa has access to. So for us, consumer consent is front and center, but you as a consumer, when you're using and buying and discovering on AI platform, there are a number of signals about your pattern matching that we yeah. know that we can then, in an anonymous, signal-oriented way, transpose with your full consent, so you have a much, much more cleaner, better discovery experience, and that is where the focus for Visa is in. Yeah, and um, uh, really, uh, you know, great point there. I'm also curious to know a little bit about the future. 
how do you see in the next three to six months what can consumers expect and what should they be excited about? Like I, I obviously saw all the announcements, so I'm super happy to you know obviously learn more about you know the ease of payments that you all are making and how agents can you know actually now go and book a, a complete vacation for me where I was kind of maybe spending two hours or three hours in a day just to plan my vacation, understand where should I be, you know, uh, staying, and um, now the agents can do that for me and uh, the payments can be done through Visa as well. So can you tell me a little bit more about what's next, three through six months, what can uh, the consumers expect and um, uh, yeah, what should they be excited about? Yeah, it's a great, it's a great question. Look, I mean, from our perspective, we're just getting started on our journey. Right. We now have the set of the five services in a unified API that we talked about today. Right. Under the Visa Intelligence Commerce yep. uh, platform. That's going to be available in Sandbox for our partners. We have a lot of testing and learning to do, but ultimately right. our end goal is to, again, sort of like go back to the point I was making. We want to make sure that the four billion plus cardholders, Visa cardholders can then seamlessly natively in a trust-oriented fashion buy from over 150 million visa accepting merchants through an AI platform in a way without actually sort of like breaking the context and leaving that platform. For us, that is the delightful consumer experience we're aiming for. Love it. And that's where we really, really want to head to. This is amazing. Uh, Rubel, thanks for sharing those insights. Uh, one last question, I promise, and Please. that is for our audience. If they want to reach out, learn more about all the produ product announcements, uh, even want to try the product, where can they do that? Uh, and at the same time, if they want to reach out and uh, you know, obviously follow you, follow your content, where can they do that? Thank you. Um, look, I think the best way to start is on the Visa developer platform, developer.visa.com. Uh, our early set, our early, all the product announcements we've made today, uh, you can access that and then you can get access to the specs if you're a developer in the AI ecosystem. Right. So we're very, very much welcome to hearing from you. The Visa team is here to learn. We want to iterate, collaborate, and ultimately provide the same delightful consumer experience that we'd like to bring to users around the world. I love it. And uh, where can they follow you? LinkedIn is a good place? At, uh, at Rubel, on X. You can find uh, on me on X. X. There okay. You go. Fantastic. Thanks, uh, Rubel. Uh, such a pleasure chatting with you. And congratulations once again for all the amazing announcements today. Thank you. And thank you for coming. It is lovely you. to meet you. Appreciate it. Cheers. Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone, for joining us today.